So without too much preamble, because I can't think of anything creative at the moment, I'm going to be drinking the Rogue Dead Guy IPA today. This one goes out to Jonathan, who gave me this beer. Thanks, Jonathan. We're at a game night. Week ago. Week ago. Yeah. And uh, I'd already had two very delicious beers and uh, sampled a few uh, others. And I really had my limit for the evening. And uh, he had these. So uh, I just, you know, took it. Well, he gave it to me. And I took it. Took it home. So I could enjoy later. When it was a good time to eat, enjoy it. And now is that good time to enjoy it. And because of that, I get to enjoy it with y'all. Here. So this is the Rogue Dead Guy IPA. And it weaves citra and mosaic hops. And a subtle malt body. A subtle malt body that's par for the course for most IPAs. Rogue is an organ brewery, so I'm expecting this to be West Coast style. Except the use of citra and mosaic hops, it's going to be more citrus, citrus and tropical, generally speaking. And so it'll be interesting to see how a, be a beer that's not promoted as a hazy or northeast style IPA uh, uses these more tropical and citrus hops uh, to make a good flavor. Um, I guess they're probably just being creative within whatever lines they choose to draw and not trying necessarily to fit within the this is a northeast or this is a west coast. Um, that's entirely based on my reading of the can, and their lack of particular categorizing labels. It definitely smells tropical. I mean, it, it's right there. It's kind of the, the, the mango, passion fruit, pineapple kind of, kind of side of things. It smells juicy. The color is definitely to the dark side. It's almost honey, rather than being uh, paler. And it, it does not appear to be filtered either. So they, they, I'm guessing they used, it's a slightly more uh, roasted malts. Slightly. Slightly more roasted malts um, than some other IPAs. Or I, I would say within the pale ale category, it's to the darker side of the pale category. Taking a drink. Ah. Dry. Dry, floral. It's kind of a, a juiciness up front. It's like it's hinting like it's going to become sweet and like smoothie-like. But then that stops short and you, you're left with this um, really basic West Coast style. Not basic as in simplistic, but basic as in... This is common to the craft. Uh, West Coast style kind of um, bitter, lingering bite uh, that kind of begs you to take another drink to get the bitterness out, but also is pleasant in its own way. Um, the finish lasts far longer than the flavor does. Really quite interesting. Um, the maltiness, while it's described as subtle, is definitely more present than in other West Coast IPAs, in my experience. And that makes for some interesting character, too. It's a very round flavor, focusing on, on an herbaceous quality, perhaps a hint of earthiness. Um, I'm thinking like, what am I thinking? Um, grass that was mown last week and is starting to get a bit funky. Yeah. That's really pleasant. It's, um, there, there's enough of a character, a body to it that <clears throat> it invites uh, savoring, I think. You don't necessarily want to slam this. I mean, if your beer is about slamming, you're drinking the wrong beer. That's an actual rule, right? That is not a valid way or reason to drink, to drink beer. If you're drinking your beer to slam your beer, or if you're if you're just slamming the beer, eh, drink water, drink juice. You know, 
it, it, that's not the point. Um, but there's beers that you want to drink quickly, and there's beers that you want to savor, you know, in small sips. This really isn't a sipper, but a you know, mouthful at a time, but you don't have to, uh, you know, drink, 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 glug, glug, glug to, uh, to get it down. Um, oh, and that, that kind of the, the bitter uh, finish is starting to kind of go down the top of my throat. That's kind of interesting, too. I can say that not that many years ago, I probably would have not appreciated this nearly so much as I do now. This is not turning out to be, oh, this is my favorite beer ever. But it's tasty. It's interesting. The 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 different flavors that work together there, there's a few kind of main hot spots. It's got this kind of mild tropical start and then this kind of drying floral middle and then you're left with this kind of I'm not. I'm not gonna say pine cone, but that the the the, I, the bitter West Coast IPA like long finish that's just hanging out there forever, um, and and it's good. It's tasty. It's enjoyable. I like it. So sue me, or don't please, please. I I don't have any money to pay legal bills. <laughs> Anyways, this is me enjoying Rogue Brewing's Dead Guy IPA. Gr gratefully dedicated to the rogue in each of us rogue makes some very good beers we usually have their um irish death strong dark ale or smooth smooth dark log smooth dark lager that's what it is um in our cupboard it's beautiful for cooking with and it's great for drinking too um it's a good brewery good stuff enjoy their stuff and enjoy this and i'll catch y'all on the flip side